Hi, I'm Robert from Magnanimous Media, and in this video, we're gonna be looking at how to maintain one of a filmmaker's most important tools, their lenses. Handling, changing, and using lenses can become second nature to most filmmakers. But if you are not focused at all times while handling the lens, damage can occur. And even worse, some damage may not be immediately apparent. One of the easiest ways to protect your lens is to keep both ends capped anytime the lens is not in use, especially if the glass element protrudes out further than the lens's casing. Also, whenever capping the front of your lens, be sure to pay attention. Any slip of the finger can push the lens cap into the front element, risking potential scratches. If lost, replace your lens cap as soon as possible. It's easy to forget that dust and other airborne debris is floating around us at all times and can find its way onto and into your lens. For things like dust, you'll want to use an air blower or soft brush designed specifically for lenses. Use these very gently and carefully to remove particle buildup. Another simple thing to do is to occasionally clean the lens caps themselves. Particles build up on them as well, which can then find their way onto your lens. Smudges or residue are more likely to affect your image. To deal with them, you can try a soft lens brush first. If the residue proves too stubborn for the lens brush, then use either a lens tissue or a microfiber cloth. If you are using a previously used microfiber cloth, Make sure the surface of the cloth is clean of residue and debris that could potentially scratch the lens. Do not, under any circumstances, use water, soap, or general cleaning fluids. Specific lens cleaning solutions are available, however they may not always be necessary. If you do choose to use them, apply them directly to the tissue or cloth first and not onto the glass. This also goes for when cleaning the barrel of the lens. They are not 100% airtight, and fluids can find their way through the seams. After applying a very light amount of lens cleaning solution to the tissue or cloth, start your wipe at the center of the lens and work the tissue to the perimeter in a circular motion. Do not apply more pressure than is necessary, minimize the actual amount of time spent wiping, and do not breathe heavily on the lens at any time. If you're shooting in an area that is very dirty or has a lot of moisture in the air, be prepared to take extra precautions. A good idea in this case is to use filters as an added layer of protection from things like mud splashing or condensation building up from a haze machine. Lens hoods are also a great way to keep particles off of the lens, especially if you're shooting over long periods of time, such as with time-lapse photography. As a general rule of thumb, avoid gripping them for movable parts, such as the focus and aperture rings, especially when performing a lens change on a camera. Another thing often overlooked are the cases that the lenses are stored in. It is important to secure the latches on the case after performing a lens change so it does not accidentally open if it needs to get moved. The most important thing to remember is that maintaining your lenses is relatively cheap and simple as long as you are focused, careful, and thorough about it. Taking that extra step rarely requires much time and in the long run can save you a lot of headaches and money. If you have any questions or would like to set up a consultation for further clarification on lens maintenance, contact us at rentals at magnanimous.biz. For all the latest news and updates, head over to our website which is listed below.